interested for a master's in New Zealand, but I have one daughter. Is it possible to apply for both of us along with our daughter? If possible, then how much money need to show as a financial statement? Opting to come for a master's in New Zealand, uh, you will be eligible to uh, uh, come on a work visa. Uh, and I, you have not mentioned your daughter's age, but if she is below 17, then you should also be able to uh, bring her uh, on another dependent visa. And if she is below that age, then she uh, more, uh, will also be eligible to get uh, local education as a domestic student so the possibility definitely exists one word of caution for you is that a lot of these agencies who deal with uh, international students uh, uh, he they will uh, help you with the student visa of your wife uh, they will help with the admission and student visa of your wife but if they do not have a license uh, like how I have uh, and if, if that company does not have a licensed immigration advisor as part of their team or uh, association, they will not be able to process your visa and your daughter's visa. So it is important you choose a company like AJV, which has not only got specialist student uh, admission and visa advisors who are not in New Zealand but in other countries, but then there is also a licensed immigration advisor who can deal with the non-student visas like uh, your work visa and your daughter's uh, uh, student visa also can be dealt by us. So a lot of agencies are not sharing this information up front with their uh, clients and students. So they are because obviously they don't want to lose the money that uh, they are going to earn through that student recruitment. So after the student gets the visa then they are saying okay uh, you, you now have to apply for your work visa and the student visa and although they are not licensed to do it which is illegal by the way they are not supposed to do it as per New Zealand law so they sometimes are asking clients to lie uh, they are trying to help them but they are telling them if immigration officer calls say I did it myself but immigration officers are trained to catch these things so the moment they know that there was an unlicensed advisor involved so they will reject that visa